ever pondered why INFJs, the rarest personality type, are often the most loyal yet the most heartbroken in relationships. This personality type, with its unique combination of introversion, intuition, feeling and judging, makes up less than 1% of the population. But there's much more to INFJs than meets the eye. Often seen as a paradox, they are at once deeply caring and profoundly private. Intuitive yet practical and passionate while also being prone to intense heartbreak. Their loyalty is legendary, a trait that is both a blessing and a curse. They are the ones who will stand by you through thick and thin, their dedication unwavering. But this very loyalty often leaves them vulnerable, resulting in deep heartbreak. So what's going on here? Why does this unique personality type often find themselves caught in this emotional tug of war? Dive in with us as we unravel the nine compelling reasons behind this intriguing paradox. Reason nine, INFJs are the devoted dreamers. Now, what do we mean by that? Well, INFJs, with their idealistic nature, have a unique ability to see the world not just as it is, but as it could be. They bring this vision into their relationships, investing deeply and emotionally in their partners with a loyalty that's unshakable. This isn't a fleeting infatuation, but a profound connection, born out of a genuine desire to understand and support their partner's dreams. They're not just along for the ride, they're in the driver's seat, navigating through life's twists and turns together. They believe in the potential of their relationships, even when the road gets rough. However, this unwavering devotion often leaves them susceptible to heartbreak. When the dream shatters, it's not just a relationship that's lost, it's a shared vision, a shared dream. And that, my friends, can be a tough pill to swallow. Eighth on our countdown, INFJs possess a profound emotional intensity. Now let's delve into this a bit. Imagine an ocean, its depth unfathomable, holding a myriad of secrets within its expanse. That's the emotional landscape of an INFJ. Their feelings run deep, so deep that it often surprises even them. This depth of emotion fuels their loyalty. They don't just care about their partners, they connect with them on a level that's intensely personal, almost spiritual. They feel their partner's joys and sorrows as if they were their own. This intensity binds them to their partners, creating a bond that's hard to break. But like the ocean's undercurrents, these deep feelings can also pull them into emotional whirlpools. They can get lost in their own feelings, often leading to emotional turmoil. They feel too much, too deeply, and that can be overwhelming. Their emotional intensity can be both a blessing and a curse. It's what makes them fiercely loyal partners, but it also leaves them susceptible to a depth of heartbreak that others may never truly understand. Reason seven, INFJs harbor a deep-seated fear of abandonment. This fear isn't about being physically alone, but rather emotionally disconnected. It's a dread of being left behind, misunderstood or unloved. This anxiety stokes their unwavering loyalty as they strive to be the dependable rock for their loved ones. Yet, it's a double-edged sword. Their intense commitment, fueled by this fear, can leave them vulnerable to heartbreak. Unfortunately, this dread of desertion can sometimes turn into a self-fulfilling prophecy. Their fear of being left alone often becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. Sixth on our list, INFJs are perfectionists in love. They're always in pursuit of that ideal connection, a bond that ticks every box. This makes them incredibly loyal partners, sticking through thick and thin to make the dream work. But here's the catch. This same pursuit often sets them up for disappointment. The world isn't perfect and neither are relationships. They're messy, complicated and beautifully flawed. The quest for perfection can be a double-edged sword. Halfway through our countdown, at number five, INFJs are empathetic soulmates. Their deep well of empathy is what makes them intuitive and understanding partners. They can sense your feelings, even before you voice them out. This empathy, however, is a double-edged sword. It allows them to connect profoundly, but also leaves them vulnerable to emotional pain. They feel not just their own hurt, but also the pain of their loved ones. Their empathy, while beautiful, can also lead to their downfall. Fourth on our list, INFJs often suffer from the martyr syndrome. They're the knights in shining armor, the ones who'd walk through fire for those they love. But this self-sacrificing nature, while it solidifies their unwavering loyalty, also paves the way for heartbreak. Because sometimes they give and give until they've nothing left. They bear burdens not their own, forgetting to save some love for themselves. It's a tragic paradox, really. 
their willingness to sacrifice can sometimes be their undoing. Coming in at number three, the paradox of trust. Now, INFJs are often seen as fiercely loyal partners. This loyalty stems from a deep-seated trust that they place in their partners. They believe in the goodness of people, and once they've decided to trust you, they'll stick with you through thick and thin. However, this trust is a double-edged sword. INFJs have high expectations of their partners, often looking for an ideal, almost fairy tale like relationship. They trust so deeply that they expect the same level of commitment and understanding in return. When these lofty expectations are not met, it can lead to profound heartbreak. The paradox is this. The very trust that makes INFJs loyal partners also makes them vulnerable to deep emotional pain. It's a delicate balance, a dance between the joy of deep connection and the fear of profound disappointment. So in essence, trust for INFJs is a paradoxical journey of loyalty and heartbreak. At number two, INFJs fear conflict. This fear is a double-edged sword that both fuels their loyalty and stokes the flames of their heartbreak. You see, INFJs are harmony seekers. They yearn for peace and balance in their relationships. This drives them to be steadfastly loyal, always striving to maintain a serene and loving environment. However, this aversion to conflict can also be their undoing. INFJs are notorious for bottling up their feelings, especially when they perceive that expressing these emotions may result in a quarrel. This self-imposed silence can lead to a buildup of suppressed emotions, creating a ticking time bomb of unexpressed feelings and unresolved issues. Ultimately, this fear of conflict can cause more harm than good. It can lead to a cycle of silent suffering, where the INFJ bears the weight of their emotions alone in an attempt to preserve harmony. The irony is, their attempt to avoid conflict often leads to internal turmoil. Their fear of conflict often leads to silent suffering. And finally, at number one, the burden of depth. INFJs, with their profound understanding and insightful nature, are known for being loyal partners. They're like deep sea divers in the ocean of emotions, delving into the depths to explore and understand the undercurrent. This depth allows them to connect with their partners on a level that's beyond the superficial, creating bonds that are strong and enduring. However, this depth also exposes them to intense heartbreak. The deeper they dive, the more pressure they feel. When things go awry in a relationship, it hits them hard. They feel the pain more intensely, as if they've been plunged into the darkest depths of the ocean. Their ability to feel deeply and connect profoundly, while a beautiful trait, can also be their greatest vulnerability. It's a paradox that they navigate throughout their lives. They yearn for deep connections, yet they fear the pain that can come with it. Their depth, both a gift and a burden, shapes their journey in love.